Hey everybody, James Yeager with Happy Response. Thanks for watching. Well, another uh, in, stupid internet gun stuff. Um, the double action, single action pistol, which was common for many years uh, when uh, auto pistols first started. And if we go back to the first, the first one that was any wildly wild success was the uh, the, the German P38. Uh, the, or the uh, whatever that that one was, yeah, P38, whatever. Ah. Um, but uh, the uh, the Germans they were having a lot of problems with guys uh, uh, shooting themselves with Luger's accidentally. So they said, hey, we'll have that first for a safety feature. We'll have that first trigger action be really long and hard, and then if they'll stay cocked, then the rest of them are real light. <laughs> Uh, so for better shooting so um, and, it, and it kind of makes sense in some in some way it kind of makes sense that to make sure the the first one you know make sure you're 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 sure before the first one goes off um, and that's for very for people that are untrained um, because people that are trained don't put their finger on the trigger and we see this like with the New York Police Department the New York trigger for the Glock uh, the reason you know that exists is because guys that were used to carrying a revolver with a 10 or 12 pound trigger were having NDs with Glocks because they'd put five or six pounds of pressure on the trigger when they didn't want to shoot and the gun would go off. And of course, um, it's cheaper to bury cops than it is to train them. So the New York Police Department just, you know, like, oh, we'll, we'll just have heavier triggers instead of training these guys. And, um, but anyway, so the whole point uh, of this thing is the double action, single action is, is made to reduce liability uh, for departments because they don't train their officers. And so, they give them substandard equipment because they are not experts with with the equipment they're given um the double action single action is dead it is dead it died a horrible death when the first glock hit the u.s market and so many companies <laughs> failed to heed that but if we look at most everybody offers a glock now uh and when I say Glock, I mean a, a gun, a striker fire pistol that's devoid of extra buttons and levers and switches. If your gun has a hammer on it, it's fucking, it's an antique. It's, fu it's a fucking antique. I mean, and you're going to say, but what about the whatever? It's a fucking antique. Goddamn, it's a fucking revolver. Jesus Christ. Um, high capacity, fucking striker fired polymer frame pistol is the best way to go, hands down. It's indisputable. It is indisputable. And whatever you're going to say, it's indisputable. Like single action st slash striker fired pistols, high cap polymer frame pistols, and and and, and the Glock nine millimeter is fucking king of that category. Um, are there other awesome fucking examples of that? Yes, Sig, the Sig three twenty, the Canic series from that's uh, that's from Century Arms. Um, it, the, the, the list goes on. A lot of people are making great guns now, but the fact is. The double action, single action was never really a viable fight, fighting pistol, and it certainly isn't now. And I see people in class struggling with them. You know, uh, the, the first shot, then the second shot, having to figure out which one. One of them's going to not be where they want it, <laughs> a bunch. Um, and then now, when they take their finger off the trigger, now we got to get them to decock the pistol. And if it's got a safety on it, does the safety stay on or off? It's, well, you decock the gun and put it back off, and then people are drawing a gun with the safety on it. Boom, boom. Like, you can't argue with me on this. The double action, single action is fucking dead. This is James Jacob for that response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.